What's up guys, it's Coco and today we are gonna be having pad thai. <laughs> Hey guys, today I got some curry pad thai, chicken curry pad thai, and it's a little bit spicy. I got this from the closest Vietnamese store uh, beside my house. No, not beside my house, like close to my house. Mmm. And I got panko crusted chicken strips that are thicker and bigger. These look so good actually. So I'm just gonna take a bite of this really quick. Look, it looks like katsu. Mm. Mm hmm. I was craving something noodly today. We've been doing like a lot of burger mukbangs, fast food mukbangs. French fries mukbangs lately. So let's dig in with some noodles. Mm-hmm. So good. These are glass noodles. Pad thai. They use glass noodles. We ran out of Diet Coke, so mad. All right, you guys actually wanted me to do, to start doing story times. I know I've been doing story times in my past videos. I just feel like I told you everything about my life already and about me. Mm. If you guys want me to talk about something, just put it in the comment section. What do you want me to talk about? Or like ask me questions. I will answer it and tell you a story time. So I have an idea what to talk about or what you want me to talk about. Or how about this? Tell me whatever you want me to know about you in the comment section on this video. Because this channel is not just about me. It's about you guys too. And on my past videos, I think I have 160 something videos now. And my all of my first videos, probably all of my 100 videos is all about talking about myself. And for sure, if you have been my subscriber from day one, you know me you know me pretty well already. What I like, what I don't like, my personality, how I'm complaining all the time. <laughs> right. So yeah, tell me about yourself and let me know what you want me to talk about. Another chicken. Mm -hmm. Look how thick it is. It's like chicken breast. This is from Jake's from um, a restaurant close to my house too and I love. This is why. I go there because their appetizers are amazing. And you know me, I'm all about appetizers. Lately, I've been feeling like... Like lately, it's been cold. Like right now here in Minnesota, it's like 57 degrees now. It's 
cold, right? My skin is getting drier, like on my nose area. It's that fall season. Every time it gets colder, I change my whole regimen, like my beauty regimen, or like what I use in my face. Like more like gentle, not too like peeling. You have to make sure you know what you're doing with your skin, especially if you're trying to maintain what you have right now. Like me, I'm I'm old, I'm 27, and I need to keep my 12-year-old skin, you know. And the worst thing you can do to your skin, which I am guilty of too, is every weekend I go home with makeup on and I sleep with it. And you don't want to keep doing that. I probably do that twice. I probably do that at least twice a week because, you know, Friday and Saturday. But yeah, you don't want to keep doing that. So gum. This pad thai, since it's curry, they put coconut milk, so it's kind of smooth and creamy. Mm. It's really good. But usually I tell them when they cook this and I pick it up, I usually tell them not to overcook the noodles because usually sometimes they overcook it. So it's kind of like, you know the texture of an overdone noodles? It's like that. Like soggy and watery. It's kind of like that too right now, but I don't know. It's still good though. Yeah, why am I wearing white? Mm. Oh, I don't work today, so I don't know what to do with my life. I'm probably gonna go get my nails done because this. This is old. Long overdue, guys. Long overdue. What color should I do next? I feel like I shouldn't... I wanted to get longer. I'm obsessed with the color white on my nails. My friend says... It looks like teeth, but <laughs> I love it. Mm, what are you guys going to be for Halloween? I'm honestly... I honestly don't celebrate Halloween. It's not in our tradition to celebrate Halloween. in my country, so I'm just not used to celebrating Halloween, and then I'm not really that excited about it. Hmm. But, I'm thinking about being Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl.
I need my chuck bass. Mm. Chuck bass is so hot. He's so hot. Especially the way he talks. Oh my god. If you guys watch Gossip Grill. You know what I'm talking about. There's so much movies on Netflix. And all I do is repeat season one to season six Gossip Girl. Because... I love Blair. <laughs> I actually ate a red velvet cupcake this big earlier <laughs> before I did the smoke bomb. So, so hungry. I haven't eaten since yesterday. No fries yesterday. But I ate like two pieces of pickle before I went to bed because I was so hungry. I felt like I was dying. So I ate like two pieces of pickles. Mm-hmm. You guys might be wondering what happened to my keto diet. I don't do it anymore. I'm sticking to fasting. But I still do avoid carbs a lot when I'm not filming. Like if I have a choice, you know. A burger or a salad. Of course a salad, you know. It's about balance. But yeah, I haven't been on keto for the longest time. But I have been fasting a lot. And honestly, it's so much easier. Because, I mean... For me, maybe because I'm so used to it now, like fasting. I know when to fast. I know when not to eat. Because I have discipline now and I discipline myself, but on my keto diet, I did like combination keto and fasting. But usually, usually when I go keto and fasting, I always think, oh, I can eat keto at least if I'm hungry. But at least on fasting, I can just fast because I know that's my only option. But when keto and fasting, I always feel like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm just going to eat like some kind of meat or beef jerky or... I don't know, a broccoli, you know? It's it's just easier for me. I think it's easier for me fasting because you just have to forget about it, be busy, and watch movies. <laughs> when I'm starving, okay, starving is like a wrong word because I know people are going to hate me for saying that. Oh my God, you're starving yourself. No, it's called fasting. But yeah, I think fasting is way better for me. It's working better. Also, I feel like I feel like when I'm fasting Literally If I'm hungry And I wake up really, really hungry I feel like I lost so much weight overnight In keto, it's like You don't really see any difference Until you've been keto for like Four days So fasting is literally the easiest and the fastest way to ketosis. How about you guys? What kind of diet you're in? Or are you in a diet at all? I would say I don't have a diet, but it's just, I think I would say it's my strategy.
just because this is my lifestyle now, mukbang. It's a part of my lifestyle now doing mukbang, so it's kind of like this or die. You have no other choice or way. But yeah, there is another way. If I work out really, really hardcore, like a lot of mukbangers, like a lot, a lot of mukbangers are like, they work so hard in the gym and then they do mukbangs as well. Their content is both bodybuilding, diet, and mukbangs. I'm just mukbangs. Miss Lazy don't know how to go to the gym. I used to go to the gym with my dad. We did Zumba together. I kind of just got to go it. Because me and my dad love to dance. <laughs> We love to dance. Hmm. It's like the perfect weather though. I love when it's raining. But it's like, I get so lazy. Like, you know me, I'm already lazy. And then when it's raining, I get lazier. I'm actually hungrier. When it's raining, I feel like I'm always, like, hungry. Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, I'm kind of full. This is a lot of food. Oh, I shouldn't gone fall. Because it's raining. Hot soup sounds good. It's okay, Kareen. There's always going to be another day. I always regret what I'm eating and I always wish that I ate something else. Whatever it is. <laughs> Cheers. Alrighty guys, I am tapping out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.